Hi and welcome. Um, this video is going to uh, demonstrate the uh, custom reports proposals sorted by priority. And uh, these are reports that uh, were downloaded from the VTOOL support site. Um, one way to access those is from any reports tab in the software, uh, click the additional reports button. So for example, if we're looking at our project list here, uh, in the Project Explorer on the Reports tab, there's an additional Reports button here that will take you out to the support site and you can download again a, uh, additional reports that don't come um, natively with SI 2015, like uh, this list here. Um, so uh, over time, you know, we'll get requests in from clients and we'll create these custom reports and we'll put them out um, and make them available for others to um, download and use. Now, um, a lot of times, of course, the features of these custom reports end up getting added to the uh, software in uh, future releases. So this list um, out under uh, additional reports is constantly changing. Uh, the particular report we're going to be talking about today is uh, proposals that are sorted by priority. Um, so to show that, I'm going to open up a project here real quick. And um, we're going to run a stock proposal for this particular um, project. Let's go to the reports tab. And uh, notice again, there is the additional reports button here. I've already downloaded and uh, imported the reports and they're listed here under the client button. And um, first I'll just run a stock proposal report. Uh, by the way, here are the custom reports here. They're showing with a blue icon next to them and they do say by priority after each of them. There's gonna be six of those total. Um, so let's go ahead and run a proposal with images and we're gonna group it by location. And we'll, I'll show you the default uh, sorting here, and the default sorting is alphabetical. So per uh, grouping, you can see we start with um, manufacturer name starting with A, and then here's C, D, and so forth. So it is alphabetical uh, by manufacturer, then by model number. Now, um, this custom report takes advantage of using um, a custom field for products uh, in order to give them a sort order. In this case, uh, the, these have all been designed to use custom field one. But uh, in a little bit, I'll show you how to change that if you want uh, in, the, in the report designer. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the Layouts tab here and go to the Custom Fields layout. And uh, again, Custom Field 1 is the one that this report has been designed to use. And um, you're going to put a value in this Custom Field 1. Um, you can use numbers or you can use letters. Uh, it's going to sort ascending. Um, so you get to pick the order. Um, you want these to go in. And in this example, I'm inside of a project, so I'm going to choose the sort order for the items within this project. But uh, you can do this in your catalog, so you don't have to do this every single project. You can do a mass update out in your um, catalog for, say, all of your display devices um, and give them a priority of A or 1 if you want those to show up first. And then um, give B or, or 2, whichever you know combination of numbers or letters you're using, um, to the next uh, category priority if you want, or you can do it individually per product. Um, it's really up to you how granular you want to get with that. Um, every item though must have something in the custom field one because a null value will win in the sorting wars. Um, so you want to make sure that every uh, item is populated. So the first thing I'm going to do uh, for this example within this project is uh, hit control A to select all. And I'm going to right click right in this column and you do get a shortcut for the mass update here. Uh, when you uh, right click in the exact column you want to update. So I'm going to update all of the products in this job to have a um, custom field one of Z. So at the very end of my list. So I hit OK on that. Now everything at least is assigned to Z and then from there I'll get to pick the priority I want. And I'll just do a quick example here where I want this to show up first uh, in the um, proposal and then we'll do um, these pieces next. So you can click right in this field if you want to just make a change. Uh, we'll say give that an A, or of course you could do a mass update here, even if it's for just a few items. In this case, I'm going to select, um, you know, let's go ahead and pull this Panasonic piece up too. We're going to give these B priority. So where I just right clicked, you'll notice it's trying to update the mass update the category because I wasn't in the custom field column, but that's okay. You can always just go to mass update, choose products, and then you can pick any field you want to update. And in this case, um, we are doing custom field one. And so an extra step there if you don't right click in the proper column, but just wanted to show that we'll save this. So those have now been given um, a priority of B and then I'll leave everything else Z just to show that this is uh, that these reports work. So we should see the rack first and then um, this equipment, then everything else uh, will come in sorted alphabetically. 
So we'll go to reports, go to client, and this time we're gonna run a proposal with images by priority, the one right beneath this. We'll expand this, we'll also run this by location. And here, let's go to the next page. You'll see that now these are in the order that I chose, the first one here being the rack, then uh, these three pieces of equipment here, or there's actually four pieces because of a quantity of two. And then it starts back with the alphabetical because everything else is assigned a Z property. And um, that's how this report works. And now uh, what I'll do is I'm gonna take you over to the catalog here and just show you uh, the mass update out there. So if we go to start, catalog, manage products, here's a listing of um, all your products. And of course you could go to the layout if you'd like to for uh, custom fields. And um, now this custom field isn't uh, named yet, but uh, if you're gonna be using this or, or dedicate it to being your sorting order, um, you can go ahead and identify that custom field right here. And we'll just say, you know, sort order A through Z, if that's the method you choose. So users know uh, what to put in that field. And uh, again, out here, you could do a mass update to everything to give everything the, the lowest value, like a, in this case, a Z. Um, Control A, I'm gonna right click, uh, mass update, and I'm gonna choose all to do all the items in my database and choose yes. And um, now of course I'm gonna have to come down here, choose my sort order, and uh, in this case, we'll put Z. Save, that's been applied to all of the products in the database. And then from here, you could say, uh, maybe do a quick filter by category and say, okay, I wanna see all of my display devices because those should show up first. So I do that and I apply it and I sort my database by display devices. Uh, Control A and real quickly, I'm gonna do a right click here. And uh, this time I'll just skip and go mass update for the selected items and give these an A. Save that and then go to your next category. What do you want to be B's? Like maybe your video sources or something like that. Um, so again, get as granular as you want inside of a job or you could do some global settings out here and um, that will give you the sort order you want when running these custom reports. And uh, now I'll show you how the report was created or these reports, I should say, were created, um, what was changed in the designer so you can create your own. Like if you've already customized a proposal and done a bunch of changes but you want this feature, uh, I'll show you how you can do that with your own reports. Um, we're going to start reports standard report designer so that's going to open up uh, this interface let me pull that over here expand that full screen and uh, i'll start a new report uh, based off of an existing report and i'm going to choose a proposal and let's just find one here i'll just do a regular proposal here give it a name this will be proposal um, by priority if you want um, and you know i think i've got this already in my list, but with a dash, but I'll put an A after that just to identify it so I can get rid of it later. Uh, then here, uh, you could give it a description if you'd like and you know explain how to use the report. You know, Let's say in this case, we wanna use custom field uh, two instead of one. You know, use custom field two to you know, give them notes. I'm just not gonna type this right now, uh, but let them know what you wanna do. But um, next, um, you don't change anything here. Um, go to the next. Go to the next, um, and here where you see required groupings, what you're gonna wanna do is remove these three. The item hash, the model, and the manufacturer. Now the item hash is a little um, combination of fields actually. I think it uses manufacturer, model, and pricing. It's um, how we group things on reports by default. So we're gonna bring that back on the next step for sorting, but uh, for now, just remove the bottom three. You can leave the optional here under required groupings. Go to the next step, and then here's your required sorting. So you have to remove those uh, three items from the previous step, or this sorting isn't going to matter. They're going to win. That required grouping will always win. So definitely remove them. But we're gonna add them back here as sort um, some of the sorting, but we first wanna uh, tell it what to do um, for the initial sort is gonna be based, in this case, I said uh, custom property two, or as we call them now, custom field two. So uh, we'll choose that and it is uh, set to be ascending. And then what I did on the rest of these is I put back the manufacturer, the model, and the item hash. So that's why uh, in the example I showed a little earlier that 
the ones I changed to A and B uh, certainly sorted, and then it just started over again based on manufacturer and model uh, sorting ascending, the alphabetical, uh, for the ones that were still assigned to Z. And uh, last but not least, the item hash. So once you add these back, just finish the wizard, go next, 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 and finish. And that's all you have to change. Um, it's one of those times that you're not doing the work here on the canvas or you know on the actual report body itself. Uh, those settings are handled in the uh, report uh, information. So uh, if you need to go back and change that or if you felt you made a mistake at any time, um, or if you're opening your own custom report you've already created, you can always go um, bring up the wizard again via file, edit details report information. That will open this wizard again and once again, just, you know, next through it and um, make your changes if you uh, made a mistake or you decide, no, no, I, I need to use custom uh, field three for this instead. You can do that as well. And um, then when you're done, get, go through the wizard there, of course, and then uh, either publish your report locally to your machine uh, to test, or if you're very confident, you can go ahead and publish this and export it directly to the server for other users to uh, download and use on their machine.